Hello and welcome to some clips from day 8, which I didn't vlog very much this day because I tried to take a little bit of a break. This day was the electronic recycling event in my area, so it was time to get rid of all that stuff that I showed in my previous video, including my big clunky printer. Now we are on to day eight, Sunday, and I'd like to make some progress in my craft space today. In my previous vlog where I shared my yellowing Kalax IKEA shelf, there were some comments that mentioned you can get rid of yellowing on plastic with either hydrogen peroxide or I read further that you could try vinegar. But I did also read some debate that it's just temporary and it just leaves another layer of plastic open to then yellow again. I don't really know, I'm not a plastic expert, but I wanted to try the vinegar since that's what I have on hand. So I mixed equal parts vinegar to water and dabbed it on. I wasn't sure how long to leave it, but I just did a test for like five minutes and then wiped it with a wet cloth. And nothing really happened. Maybe if I left it on longer, I don't know, but I kind of want to either paint it or cover it with some laminate or some kind of solution like that. I was looking on Amazon at wood grain laminate. I think maybe like a bamboo might be cool because that matches my desk. And since I've had this shelf for so long, it kind of sounds fun to make it look like a new piece of furniture without actually buying a new piece. The reviews on this one had pretty good results, and it's temporary, so if it ends up not working, I can always peel it off. If you've tried anything like this, let me know in the comments. I was thinking of only doing the outside thick surfaces and then leaving the inside white. I then went down a rabbit hole on Amazon looking at different tables that might replace this one. Something smaller but can still hold my drink and plants. Maybe a plant stand? My mug could go right up there, above my plant. Maybe a three-tier option. I like this one. It's made out of wood instead of metal. Same idea. I do want to refresh my space but not spend too much, so I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. But if you're curious where to find this stuff, I will link it down below. All right, on to the pegboard. The last video I left off, I shared that I bought these 3D printed two ounce paint bottle holders that are made custom for the IKEA SCOTUS pegboards. I found that Etsy is a great place to find customized accessories for these boards. However, with these, I found that since they're 3D printed, they had some extra bits on the hooks which prevented them from going in all the way on the boards. I did contact the shop owner to let them know but also my boards are from 2018 and it is possible that Ikea might make them thinner now. I'm not sure. I don't think they need to be returned. I ordered a lot of them and not all of them are hard to get in. Some of them are totally fine, but for the ones that do have excess bits, I think I can easily file them off. The plastic seems soft enough that it could be filed down. So I picked up this needle file set from Lowe's and it has every shape you could need. And this shape is perfect. It's a square, which is like the perfect size to go through those notches. Okay, so that took me like an hour, but it did work. And now I can fit these into the pegboards. And it's not like an exact smooth fit, but it's enough for two ounce bottles of paints to sit on. I think it's totally secure enough for those. And I forgot to mention, I did get eight ounce holders. So those are for the larger bottles of paint below those.
the pegboard system is great, but it's also endless options. So <laughs> I will just stand there and think which place should I put this? And then that takes forever. So I think it's better to just put all the stuff up and then rearrange it later. I'm still keeping in mind that whatever goes within arm's reach is the stuff that I use the most. So whatever I use the most is going to be kind of on my eye level and then less used things will go on the top row of pegboards. And I did get extras of these paint holders because I know my paint collection is going to continue growing. I'm not sure I'll keep this way of organizing, but I did put like specialty paints on the top and then I just organized by color. But let me know what you would do. Would you order these from like the texture of the surface, like matte, glossy, or would you order them by brand or color? Let me know. 